In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my home office to show you how you can set up your own home office to prevent and relieve back pain while you work. But first, comment down below with what you do to relieve back pain during your workday. Hi, I'm Dr. Nicholas Mercer, physical therapist and your guide to a pain-free life. The transition to a work from home job can leave you thoroughly unprepared without a properly set up home office. In fact, you may not even have a dedicated desk chair to sit at, let alone a desk. Without a proper home office setup, back pain is almost inevitable. Don't worry, whether you are new to working from home or just want to optimize your setup, I'm going to show you the best way to set up your home office to relieve and prevent back pain. First, do you need all the fancy tools and latest gadgets? Absolutely not. The most important components involve proper positioning of your equipment and your body. While it may be easier to purchase a new chair or high-tech desk, you can definitely get by, in most cases, with stuff you have lying around the house. Let's start with the desk. It doesn't even have to be a desk, it could just be a table. The most important thing to remember is that the height of the desk is around the level of your elbows when they're relaxed at your sides. On the other hand, you could invest in a standing desk which can raise and lower depending on whether you want to sit or stand. There are also options for adjustable monitor stands, which can allow you to alternate between sitting and standing while you work. Now let's look at the monitor. You wanna keep the top third of the screen at about eye level. I use a laptop, so in order to bring the screen up to the proper height, I invested in an affordable laptop stand. Although you can see my second monitor is simply elevated by a few plastic containers I found around the house. And if you're using multiple screens like I do, try to have one main screen and one or two extra screens. Place the main screen directly in front of you, about an arm's length away, and use it for the work that requires your full attention. Use the additional screens for data or information so you don't spend too much time with your head turned towards the extra screen. Next, the chair. The specific type of chair you choose depends on your specific preferences. In general, I recommend at least having some lumbar support, which can be accomplished by simply placing a pillow behind your lower back. And armrests to ensure you can keep your shoulders supported and relaxed by your side. I invested in a rolling office chair with armrests, built-in lumbar support, and an adjustable height. But you can use pretty much any chair. Just ensure that your hips are placed slightly above the level of your knees with your feet flat on the floor. You may need to place a pillow under your hips to achieve this angle. Now for the mouse and keyboard, I suggest using a mouse as much as possible. If you're using the trackpad on the laptop, it means either your screen is too low or you have to lift your arm up to move the cursor. As long as the mouse is placed at a comfortable position on the desk, you should be good. The same goes for the keyboard. Use an external keyboard so you aren't reaching up or looking down at the screen when you're using a laptop. While this is the way that I've set up my own home office, yours will likely look a lot different. And that's okay. If you follow the guidelines I have given in this video, you have a head start to limiting and preventing back pain at your desk. Make sure you check out the description for links to recommended accessories and comment below with what your home office desk looks like. Thanks for watching.